everybody. We're going to show you what this is and what it can do. Y'all stay tuned and see what happens in the video. Me and Kira are out here in the shop and we are doing what now? We're going to learn about the camera that almost killed my dad. It's an important discovery. So she got to be the one that drove me home. Um, we together, she is my, she is my wondrous assistant today. Thank you. And we are going to be showing this. I am on a 30 day regimen, um, about a little over halfway through of some very serious antibiotics. And this all began, um, with this thing. So I'm going to have Kira just sit here and point it down at it and, uh, I'll turn it on. And now this is, this is an excellent item. Um, like she says, that camera almost killed you. So as you can see, it has two separate cameras built into one and a very nice light. It's, and, and this thing will go all the way up 1900 and I think like 12, uh, 1200, whatever, uh, on the, on the camera quality. So it's, it's pretty good. It has, uh, the mode I keep it in most most of the time is the downward facing right there and as you'll see it right here you see that and it is tiny it's really small it's about um i don't know a little smaller than a number two pencil so what we have here she's going to show you this i'll let her just hold it over here so y'all can look at that and i'll explain the details of this this camera uh it's got 50 feet as you can tell pretty well used this is how it came back in the back of the truck this camera got used in the bottom of a silver slash copper mine uh, yeah. yeah. And, uh, Kira was out exploring around the hilltops and I came back out of the mine, uh, gagging and choking. And she's like, what's wrong with you? I said, I don't know. It's just really stale in there. Well, come to find out, uh, they used cottonwood trees, cottonwood trees cut up into, uh, timber, um, for the supports in the mine. And it had turned into basically black mold and fungus. So the air rushing up when we took the covers off of a, uh, of a downshaft um, that ran about 30 or so feet down, when we took it off of there, now I, I, I will not show video of someone's project. I was installing solar panels up in the hillside behind in the valley and batteries down in there is kind of a, for a bunker, a guy owns the land. So we're not going to show that, and, but this thing here did its job, did a hell of a job. But what it didn't do is tell me that I was in a high arsenic, high sulfur gas. And then later, when I got home, about two days later, a fungal attack took over my lungs. Okay. So I have a few good days where I've made some videos out here, a few good days. And I worked my butt off to get this company here. And y'all be looking, I'm going to put a video out. It's completely opened and examined. And you're going to see how everything got very good upgrades from my suggestions to this company. And they built, they, they did what I asked. They built a hell of an inverter. I'll put links to every, links to all of this below the video. So apparently I got a fungal stacky is what they called it. Uh, black mold. And it, it basically took me out. Um, so, I mean, I spent days uh, recovering and being, being babied by, this worry wart um, of taking care of me. So I have been on a ton of antibiotics and a antifungal uh, treatments for my, my lungs. Now, the problem is, is that it then traveled to my kidneys back into the hospital. I went, um, felt good, did a video, nice night in the hospital. So we're going to give you a little idea what this thing can do. It is, it is good. I am on, uh, I'm getting, I'm coming out of the dark spot of this. So we're going to get more in depth. She's showing you right now how this camera can literally go in here and identify and look for parts here. We'll go at a little angle there and it will look for parts inside of things. This is, I mean, this is really impressive. Now you can flip the screen on it, everything. And it shows right here is your, like uh, your streaming camera. So I'll hit this button right here. And let's see here if I hit it right. Oh, there you go. Oh, I turned it off. My bad. All right. So there it is. There you'll see the countdown of the camera right there. 
And so right now what she's doing is filming. So she can literally get inside of here and look at, sorry, look at the capacitors, you see, and see the exact brand. Now you can spin that 180 that, you see what I mean? And you can look inside, you can see if there's cracks in the boards, all kinds of different things inside of stuff. Now, I actually used this camera when I first decided to do this so that I could figure out where to cut in to get to that trimmer right there for setting up my current. And it's very handy for that because it just literally, I just got peeled one corner and looked in there with the camera and I could identify things that I needed. You can also basically just take the items and look down inside like that. So that's how it works. Now I'll replay this section of the video right here so you'll see what it does. But the clarity is amazing on this. So there's a minute of video there and I'll hit the OK button again and it will stop. Okay, right here is looking inside the inverter. I'll try to slow this down a little bit. But you can see in here like these capacitors right here. The newer model inverter has much larger capacitors than these. We're going to be showing that. And if you look back in here, you get a really clear view. Now, I'm sorry about how fast I'm moving around here because I'm just getting used to using it for that purpose. But look over here inside of this. This is the Vever, and you can see in there where the trimmer is and where the shunts are at, and look back up inside and get a good idea of the construction of this also. The clarity is really good. Now, I'm moving a little fast because we're doing this video, but look down here. I can check and see if i got a fuse burnt. I can look in here further along and see if I've got any capacitors might be swollen up or something like that. Yeah, burnt fuses is probably what it's going to be used for most often. Yeah, we got a lot of inverters, so I mean, you know, being able to put this into the vent of an inverter uh, is, is a pretty good thing. All right, so this is handy as hell. Um, it has different little attachments with it, so we almost lost these. They, they, <laughs> this has got like a little hook, a little magnet on it, and it goes on the end. Now, there's a metal ring that goes around this camera, and then there's a side camera that is right there, you see it? So I'll have her hold that and I want to kick it over to side camera and you just do that by just holding down the button and you watch what it does. Now it's turning on the light on the side camera. So as you can see, there's my hand on the side camera and then she can do the same thing. Like look at these fuses, you see that? Look at the fuses, look and see what kind of uh, different parts you have in there as far as all the materials. So, kind of cool, ain't it? Now, I don't know how well this camera here is working for it, but look, look at that. So, it does, it fishes in really well, and you can check the board for all kinds of stuff. It is a, it is a nice tool to have. Um, it does have its absolute benefits, and then, of course, you've got your split screen where it will do both, you see? So, if you're going down inside of a pipe, you can look for damage in the pipe as well as distance and other debris in the pipe. And it does have the ability, hold on to that, Kira. It does have the ability to uh, totally flip the picture backwards if you wish to do so. But I keep it pretty much on the straight shot right there. Now, um, when, you, when you have this, you ain't got to worry about it like in my toolbox. I didn't have to worry about it getting hit and turned on by some just light push of a button. It has a real mechanical style switch on it. That's extremely handy. I've got another one of these that's kind of like a little smaller screen. And if you just touch it somewhere, it'll come on. It'll power on and run its battery out. But this one's kind of cool and it can handle up to, I believe 64 gig in the little side card right there, little mini SD. So I think I, I, think I did good getting this. And our main goal when we were in that water, in that mine, we were, I was in a 45, 50 feet back and around a corner and down in a drop shaft where there's a shaft right there. And the second level has collapsed. And when I got in there, I dropped this whole camera kit probably about 25 feet down. And luckily the, the cable got caught on a piece of wood and I thought I broke it and it came back up just fine. And then later I dropped this all the way down and we found the water. It was the water and this this is fully waterproof. So it went in the water. Um, like I said, I'm sorry, I can't, re I can't record on someone else's property, but it went in the water and I dropped it roughly about eight feet deep in a 
in a uh, bottom bore that is probably about six feet in diameter. It's a little broke up and collapsed. And uh, the guy bought all the property, so we were just basically kind of not rehabbing, but using the the cavern entrance and about 30 feet back, because it's pretty good size, as a nice place to store stuff, uh, batteries, gear, and everything. And I was putting in their solar stuff. So that's how I ended up kind of missing an action. Y'all seen a few videos I put out, and I might sound good, but uh, that's the Norco talking, not me sometimes. And I'm getting better, though. All right? Um, I got nurse kira she's doing it i Take, prefer the name domestic goddess domestic goddess there you go taking care of dad so <laughs> dad's best girl uh she takes care of me so guys y'all look at this the links are to it are below it is well worth um i, I actually i had a, a rigid that i paid 300 dollars for it. i lost it left it on the back of the toolbox a rigid brand i lost it and this kind of was the replacement for it last year and it's uh, what almost year a year now, I guess, a year old. It has a little lanyard thing. That's what broke. So I don't know. Don't trust the lanyard. Um, but it just fits in a shirt pocket. It's not that hard to carry. This unplugs easily, and you can buy the longer ones there or the shorter ones. Now, I have one that's a, a 12-footer, and I got one that's a 33-footer, and I got this 50-footer. Uh, the 50s is what we took down there because the guy said the water should be close. So there you go. Um, if you got jobs you need to use it on, you need to find wiring inside of walls. It only requires just uh, basically hold, make, get it inside of a wall. And you can side view as well as look forward, which is really awesome. I do like this. And um, probably one of the best little self gifts I got myself. I got other one of those. I like that one too. <laughs> Y'all be good.